It would be an ill-remembered day for L.A.'s blue and gold, but for Green Bay Packer backers last Sunday's stunning triumph was ample compensation for an afternoon of rain-splashed spectating. But the rain had an altogether different impact on John Hadle's passing game as he could produce but 59 yards and one field goal against the Elements and the Packers. With Hadle seemingly off form, number 12, James Harris, entered the game with something less than elegant form. But he still found number 19, Lance Rensel, over the middle for 25 yards. But facing third and six at the Green Bay 11, Harris' next slip was much more costly. Although ruled an incomplete pass, the Rams settled for a field goal, which gave them just six points for the afternoon. With a combination of steady coverage and inspired rush, the Packers continually snuffed out the Rams' offensive flame. In the second quarter, the Rams, hoping to punt out of danger at their own 22, kicked the ball to number 22, John Staggers. And 68 yards later, it was 7-3 Green Bay. But just as the defense had done the blocking on Stagger's run, so too do they deserve the credit for setting off the rest of Green Bay's points. As in the third period, when number 28, Willie Buchanan's interception soon made it 10-3 Packers. But the brightest light on the defense came from number 56, Ted Hendricks, who three times snared errant LA passes, the last of which set up Green Bay's final touchdown. With the score standing at 10 to 6, the Packers had the ball at the LA 19, thanks to Mr. Hendricks. And then John Brockington started to do his thing. From the five, it was number 42 into the Los Angeles end zone to give the Packers a confidence boosting 17 to 6 win over the maybe not so hot Los Angeles Rams. 